aware that the, uh, the State Department for Industrialization has supported Livertex uh, since uh, uh, 2014 with almost around 5 billion. And as you have seen, uh, the modernization of it has really improved well. We have seen uh, that uh, Livertex is uh, creating jobs. Who are, uh, of course, there are direct jobs, which are we are talking about around 300, uh, 3,000 people who have been employed directly. There are those who buy the fabrics from here to go and do tailoring, uh, which we are looking at almost um, 30,000 people across the country. We have supported almost around 4,000 farmers with seeds and uh, pesticides who are planting cotton. And of course, um, they are uh, earning uh, money from, through this uh, uh, what we, we are looking for, again, in the next financial year, we want to give Livertex some more, around 500 million, which is remaining uh, on this project of modernization. Uh, we hope that uh, that money will be able to assist uh, Livertex to be able to do value addition. You've seen uh, in this last uh, segment of it that they are doing a lot of uh, clothing for uh, our military, uh, our police, our schools, our hospitals, and that's the way we want to go so that uh, we can uh, support uh, the uh, Buy Kenya, Build Kenya initiative. And as you are aware, that the President of the Republic of Kenya has, has gone ahead to be the champion of this course of uh, Buy Kenya, Build Kenya. Uh, one of the issues that uh, we will be addressing as we move forward is that how the, all the uh, EPZA uh, farms that uh, uh, do their tailoring and apparatus can be able to source locally the materials from these Libertex. Therefore, that, that would push Libertex to move to the higher levels. I think um, in terms of uh, uh, manufacturing uh, contribution to our GDP, we have really moved well since we started the fission 2013 uh, uh, in 2008. And, um, uh, by last year, we were doing a, a, about 9.2%, and of course we are looking that uh, notwithstanding uh, this COVID period, that we could be able to do 